Hi again, everybody. Welcome back to Green Wave Hockey here on FCAT Sports. I'm Lou Bordeaux, Green Wave Skate Doctor with you. We're once again at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield, Massachusetts for tonight's independent matchup between the Greenfield Green Wave and the visiting Agawam Brownies. Before we get too far into tonight's broadcast, just wanted to fill you in on something from last Saturday night, the game that the Green Wave beat the Assabet Valley Aztecs. As we went off the air, it looked like it was a 1-0 final, and Kyle Barnes put one into the empty net as time expired. Originally, the referee waved that goal off, but in conversation with the officials after the game, the goal did count. So the final score from last Saturday night here at the Collins Moylan, 2-0 in favor of the Greenfield Green Wave over the Assabet Valley Aztecs. A big win, another independent team. Now, a tale of two, st uh, two teams. Uh, the Agawam Brownies come in here tonight. Longtime powerhouse in Western Mass High School hockey. They're in a rebuilding phase right now. So far on the season, overall, they're just 2-14-1. Uh, two teams that Agawam has played that you might be familiar with. They played the Belchertown Orioles to a 1-1 tie earlier this season. And they shut out the Ludlow Lions, who will be in here at the Collins Moylan Arena next Monday night by a count of 3 to nothing. So they play these games on the ice for a reason. Anything can happen. We're going to be back with the opening face-off, the starting lineups in just a moment. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. 
Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the common in South Deerfield. And welcome back to Greenfield, Massachusetts. Green Wave Hockey here on FCAT Sports. There you get a good look at the Green Wave Hockey team. We've had the starting lineups. We've had the national anthem. Only thing left is for the opening puck drop to be taking place momentarily. Greenfield in their home whites will be skating right to left in this first period of play. The Agawam Brownies in their timeless orange and brown will be skating left to right here in the first skating period. Brian Bauman on the draw against Mitch Dronowski and we are underway. Dylan Slitch cleared that one in from his own side of the center ice stripe. Five seconds into this tilt, we've got our first whistle. It's an icing call. According to my statistics, starting goalie for Agawam, number 30, Brandon Pryor, is his first start of the season. Agawam knocks the puck free. Jacob Bryant over to Cam Rice. Ryan Lodato centered it. Nobody there. Bauman breaks back the other way. Quick shot right away. I think Pryor got his catch glove on that one. Knocked it aside just slightly. That's Mitch Dronowski with a head of steam through center ice. Green Wave quickly back on the play. Dumped back in by Slitch as uh, Agawam changes their unit. Captain Mikey McGoldrick. Up the boards to Doug Hineski. Hineski can't quite get it out. Kyle Barnes through the neutral zone. Barnes into Agawam territory. Circles behind Sean O'Sullivan there to help him. Barnes gets the puck out. Back to Bryant. Shot was deflected on the way in. Turned aside by Pryor. Barnes once again. Looks for a little help. Bryant over on this point now. Throws it in from the blue line. Brandon Pryor gloves it. Going to have a face-off to his right side. Hard to believe it was 40 years ago in the net for Agawam. My little brother Steve Bordeaux. Time flies when you're having fun in a hockey rink, folks. Will Averill knocks the puck back up into the Agawam zone. Doug Hineski with it. Knocked down from behind. Averill keeps it in, knocks it in deep for Hineski. And he scores! Doug Hineski! Just got it over the left shoulder of Brandon Pryor. Twelve fifty-nine to go in the first period. Agawam, or Agawam gives up the first goal of the game. Doug Hineski from Will Averill. Kevin Bauman. 
Couple of good body checks. Shot from the blue line. Knocked down by Kyle Barnes. He's got it and he's breaking out. Whistle at the blue line. Green Wave is offside. Face off outside the Aguam zone. It's Bowie Harris takes a look. He sees Jacob Bryant. Back over to Harris. Little skirmish along the half wall right in front of our broadcast position. Matt Wilhite breaking through. Finds Adam Savoy. Couldn't get the good wood on it. Pryor covers it. That first green wave goal, as we said. Doug Haneski on the assist from Will Averill. Just two minutes into the hockey game. That is the 11th goal of the season for Doug Haneski. Averill keeps it in on the point. Aiden Roach! Aiden Roach from the faceoff dot. Once again, right over the shoulder of Brandon Pryor. Quickly, it's 2-0 in favor of the Green Wave. That's MJ Paulin on the blue line. He sends the puck back down behind the Aguam goal. Comes back to MJ. Maintains control. Aguam in, uh, suddenly in a regroup mode here early in the first period of play. Down 2-0. Assists on that Aiden Roach goal. Go to Kyle Barnes and Sean O'Sullivan, his line mates. Teamwork, baby. Brownies are stuck in their own zone. Green Wave makes a wholesale line change. Aguam's able to move in. Going to have our first penalty of the night. Dean Katanaga of the Brownies was moving in on the left side. Mikey McGoldrick got the stick underneath his wheels. Brian Karen back on the point for Aguam. Karen made a nice pass into Ryan Lodato. Centered it. Jacob Bryant was there. Played the body. Net came off its moorings. Faceoff's going to be outside the zone, right in front of the Green Wave bench. 10-15 remain in the first period of play. Brief time out here. Well, we got the penalty clock adjusted. Oh. 
Aiden Roach wins the draw. Sends the puck all the way down into the Agawam zone. Lodato recalibrates. Chips the puck just wide of Riley Drew. Drew coming off a nice 24 save shutout last Saturday night. Over Assabet Valley. Went home wearing the hard hat. Congratulations to Riley. Jacob Bryant. Pad save prior. Brian Bauman with the steal. He's going to rag the puck. Kill some time off of that penalty clock. We got 45 seconds remaining in penalty time. Mike McGoldrick in the box for tripping. Mitch Dronowski clears in. Riley just got a piece of that. Puck skitters into the corner. Haneski tries clearing. Brian Karen up on the point. Can't keep it in. Bauman chips it out. Pryor passes it up. I go on into the greenfield zone. Michael Baldry behind the net. Penalty to McGoldrick's over. Back to five on five hockey. Byron Karen dumps it back in. Riley sets it up for Kevin Bauman. Kevin takes a look. Chips it off the boards. Kyle Barnes stymied at the blue line. Puck goes back in deep. Glenn Olbrich for Agawam. Taken off his stick by Aiden Roach. Got a delayed offside here. Gave Kevin Bauman the opportunity for a good look. Pass just in front of Kyle Barnes. Play a little loose there for a few seconds. Kyle Barnes got in deep. Pryor with the save. Jacob Bryant clears it in once again. Bowie Harris tries the same thing from this side, and he's blocked by Glenn, by Glenn Ulbricht. Sean O'Sullivan with a head of steam. He gets over to Bryant. Bryant dumps it in. Puck gets by Bryant. It's all the way back down behind the greenfield net. Deflection never made it to Drew. Play getting a little physical in the corner. Out comes Adam Savoy. Banks went off the boards. Sean O'Sullivan. Got his stick on it. Couldn't get control though. Always tough with a bouncing puck. Down to six and a quarter remaining in this first period of play. You're watching Green Wave Hockey here on FCAT Sports. We're so glad you're with us tonight. Paneski back out on the ice. Dougie's got it into the Brownie zone. Goldra chips it in. Will Averill, meanwhile, over on the other point. Battle along the half wall. Aguam chips it out. Mitch Dronowski with it. Oh, nice move. Riley Drew, what a save. Puck was played with a high stick through the neutral zone. Cam Rice got his stick on it. Knocked it in behind the Aguam net. Jacob Bryant's seen enough. Slaps one off the wall. 
goes the length of the ice for an icing call. Got the unit of Jake Croto, Trevor Bodette, and Porter Clancy out there. Porter's a frontier student, Jake Croto. Franklin County Tech, student athlete. Draw comes back, and it's outside the zone. There's going to be a delayed offside here. Bodette clears it up. Regathers. Quick shot from the top of the faceoff circle. Prior glove that. Puck comes back this way. Bodette once again along the boards. Referee got in the way. Bodette once again takes a look. Another delayed offside here. Agawam gets themselves back onside. Riley holds it for Jacob Bryant. Knocked down with a high stick by Agawam. And in the meantime, Aiden Roach collects. Tried to toe drag there. Didn't quite work out. Worked that time, though. Stole the puck back. Roach all alone. He shoots and scores. Aiden Roach collected that one right at the blue line. Went in, juked, put the brakes on, and went five hole on Brandon Pryor. Just like that, 3-0 in favor of the Green Wave. That's Aiden's second goal of the night. Jacob Bryant, long stretch pass right onto the stick of Adam Savoy. Pryor made the save. like Andrew Sullivan got a two-hander down onto Savoy's stick as he tried to get the shot away. Nonetheless, 3-0, 320 to go here in the first period of play. Pineski keeps it in at the blue line. Will Averill keeps that one in. Brian Bauman sends it deep. Doug Hineski's got it. Centered it. Derek Lenoise out of nowhere almost tapped that one home. Green Wave have come out on fire tonight, folks. Hineski once again centers it. Stolen by Dean Katanaga, who went the length of the ice with it, got a shot away. Riley, Riley Drew with a nice save. Faceoff's going to be to Riley's left. 2.34 to go in the first period of play. Green Wave Hockey here on FCAT Sports. So far it's been all Green Wave. Mitch Ternowski wins the draw, pulled it back to Byron, Byron, Brian, Karen. Let me say that five times fast. Can't even say it five times slow. Karen keeps it in. Harris with it for, Ag for uh, Greenfield. Aiden Roach. Ooh, tried the stretch pass. He had Kyle Barnes completely all alone right at the blue line. Almost had him. Yeah. 
Delayed offside. Kevin Bauman's got it. He's going to take a look. Brownies come back onside. Drunowski took the long shot, hit the side of the net. Kevin Bauman. Back up the other way. Slap back into the zone by Andrew Grasso. There goes Kyle Barnes. Two on one developing. Got a nice shot off. Pryor just got a piece of that one. Sean O'Sullivan. Turned aside by Pryor. David Clark loses possession. Jacob Bryant's clearing attempt made me chuckle. It was right at the referee. Ego on Brownies on their heels here. Matt Wilhite, nice shot. Bryant threw a maze of legs. Pryor got his glove on that, put it back into play. Dronowski got a wrist shot off, hit Bryant right in the ankle. Bryant's not doing too well. He's trying to shake it off, staying in the play though. As the first period comes to a close, Green Wave dominated that first period of play, and they skate off the ice with a 3-0 lead. Here at the Collins Moylan Arena, we're going to be back with second period action in just a moment right here on FCAT Sports. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. And welcome back to the Collins Moylan Arena in beautiful Greenfield, Massachusetts. We're ready for second period action. Green Wave on top. 3-0 after one skating period. Just a dominant first period by the Green Wave. Icing call right off the bat. In this second period of play, Greenfield will be skating from left to right on your TV screens, telephones, monitors, and what have you. Aguam skating from right to left in their traditional brown and orange. Doug Hineski in deep, nobody there to collect. Play comes back this way. Pass up to Doug Hineski. Just got the skates in before the puck. That's an offside. Going to have a face-off right in front of our broadcast position. Just 30 seconds gone in this second period of play. 
Greenfield on top by a count of three to zero. Bowie Harris clubs one from the blue line. Aiden Roach dumps it back in, looking for Sean O'Sullivan. Shot by Nick Bonagorio going high. Riley Drew gloved it. Going to have a face-off to his right side. Our left. Brian Bauman wins the draw. Pulls it back to Jacob Bryant. Bryant carries the mail over the blue line. Kicked into the zone by Evan Danik. Brian Bauman circles, takes a look. Chips it up for Haneski. Couldn't quite handle, goes for an icing call. Had a nice conversation with Green Wave head coach Adam Bouchard during the first intermission. Asked the coach if he liked what he saw in that first period. He mentioned that he wants his squad to treat all these games down the stretch as if they're playoff games. And I've got to tell you, Green Wave players responded in droves in that first period of play. Kyle Barnes wins the draw quickly. The puck comes up to the center zone. Sean O'Sullivan's got it. Couldn't get it under Pryor. Couple nice saves by Brandon Pryor there. Rob Sean O'Sullivan and then Kyle Barnes on the rebound. Nice defensive play by MJ Paulin at the blue line. Kept the Brownies out. Pollen chases, takes it behind his net. O'Sullivan, lot of open ice here. O'Sullivan went coast to coast. Kyle Barnes was manhandled in the slot though. Aiden Roach with it. Puck bounced off some skates. Back out to David Clark. Drew makes the save. Battle of three Aguan Brownies over there. Kyle Barnes and Kevin Bauman digging deep, free the puck. Back around this way. O'Sullivan finds Brian Bauman, puck just bounced off his stick. Couldn't quite catch up to it. Doug Hineski follows up. He's got a loose puck there. Puck bounced off Mitch Dronowski's skate and somehow Brandon Pryor was able to kick it out. Shot comes in from the blue line and Pryor does the wise thing and ties that one up. Eleven eighteen to go in the second period of play. It's 3-0 in favor of the Green Wave. Dronowski wins the draw, pulls it back around. Cam Rice going to chase after it. Battles Dylan Slitch along the half wall. Andrew Sullivan dumps it deep. Vineski chips it out. Cam Rice has it. 
puck bounces off a prior skate. I'll bet his heart's going a mile a minute right now. We've got the paddle on it. Turned that one aside. Doug Hineski with it. Back to Bryant. Another save. Pryor lost his stick. He's got his stick. Hineski finds Brian Bauman. Puck is just tipped off. A Bauman stick by Andrew Sullivan. Breakout goes the other way. Dylan Slitch. Jacob Bryant clears up, can't clear the zone, however. Slitch has it behind the cage. Bryant, big slap shot. Pryor had a good look at that. Nice low hard shot by Jacob Bryant from 80 feet away. Kyle Barnes out to take this draw. Won it, circled around, got a shot off a little bit wide. Brian Karen goes deep for Agawam. Nice save by Riley. McGoldrick. Find Sean O'Sullivan wide open over here. Andrew Grasso got in the way on that one. MJ Pollen crossed over. He's got it deep. Grasso once again moves the puck around. Kyle Barnes, nice steal. Good forecheck by Kyle Barnes. He stole that one. Aiden Roach over on the far side. He's got two goals tonight so far. Sean O'Sullivan recalibrating for the green wave. Things got a little chaotic there for a moment. Wave whistled for a delayed offside. 8.32 to go in the second period of play. Green wave three, Agawam Brownies zero here at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. Green Wave going to bring this regular season to a frantic finish as Riley Drew gloves that one. Of course, this game is being played on Monday, February 11th, but when we get to the end of the week here, Friday, February 15th, Green Wave will be in action at the UMass practice rink against the Belchertown Orioles in the makeup game from the broken glass postponement. Then the very next night is coming Saturday, the 16th. Green Wave will have senior night right here at the Collins Moylan Arena. When Southwick comes to town. And then one week from tonight, Green Wave close out the regular season right here in Greenfield against the Ludlow Lions. Another Berry Division team coming in here to Greenfield. Brownies are whistled for a trip while I was telling you about the schedule. Going to be soft, sophomore Cannon Grover. Cleared the length of the ice. Drew holds it for Mikey McGoldrick, the captain. Hands off to Brian Bauman. 
Brother Kevin knocks it forward. Aiden Roach back over on this side. Roach takes a look. He's being hounded by Andrew Grasso. Grasso's played a sturdy game so far on D for the Brownies. Minute 10 remain on the Greenfield power play. Aiden Roach takes a long look, intercepted on the cross ice pass. Kyle Barnes going coast to coast. Sean O'Sullivan with those silky smooth hands of his threaded the needle over to Kyle Barnes. Brandon Pryor said no. 35 seconds to go on the Greenfield power play. 6.26 to go in the second period of play. 3-0 in favor of the Green Wave. Bowie Harris in deep. Sean O'Sullivan with a long wrist shot. Looks like it hit Adam Savoy. It'd be under the arm. He skated off under his own power though. Jacob Bryant, meanwhile, back in deep in the Agawam zone. Drops it back for Barnes. Bryant once again. Harris over on the far side as the penalty expires. Back to five on five hockey, Bryant. Over to Barnes. Blocked by Katanaga. Puck's loose, bounces off the referee. Brian Bauman with it. Finds O'Sullivan on the far side, O'Sullivan after it. Katanaga chips it up for Slitch. Pucks loose, Doug Hineski drops it for Bowman. Nice save by Pryor. Pryor went down, took it right in the letters. Face off back, Kevin Bauman sends it in deep. Cam Rice with it. Will Averill cross ice over to Doug Hineski. Hineski stops. Taken into the boards by Dylan Slitch. Paneski once again. Brian Karen. Riley Drew held on to that one. 4.13 to go. Second period of play. 3-0 in favor of the Green Wave. Nick Bonagario won the draw for Aguam. Pulled it back outside the zone, however. Bonagario again with the puck. Deflected by McGoldrick. Puck came back to Katanaga at the point. Got one in. Riley got the stick on that. Another save by Drew.
There goes O'Sullivan, two on one developing. O'Sullivan got the shot off. Pryor made the save, puck rolled just to his right. Agawam regroups, going back the other way. Andrew Grasso got the shot off from the point. Riley knocked it down with the, with the waffle board. Couldn't clear the puck, however. And Agawam is on the board. We've got ourselves a three to one hockey game with 3.13 to go in the second period of play. Brian Bauman off the draw. Paneski chips it right over the stick of Andrew Grasso. Jacob Bryant with a wrist shot turned aside by Brandon Pryor. Agawam on a breakout, Bowie Harris. Nice job obstructing Glenn Olbrich. Puck just skitters loose to the left of Riley Drew. Puck ends up loose in the crease. Suddenly Agawam's got a little jump in their game. This one is far from over, folks. Two forty-two to go. Second period of play. Three to one is the score. You're watching Green Wave Hockey here on FCAT Sports. Centering attempt just goes through the feet of Glenn Olbrick in front of the Greenfield net. Shot it from the point, deflected wide. Kyle Barnes turns the Jets on, goes to center it. Aiden Roach just pushed off the play at the last moment. Kevin Bauman. Gets it in deep. O'Sullivan after Andrew Sullivan. Had a mental tongue twister there. Jacob Bryant on the move as Aguam changes. Was off stride, lost the puck, found the puck, lost the puck, found the puck. Looks like Aguam's got their legs under him now. Brian Karen sends it in deep. Brian Bauman with a great cross eye. Sean O'Sullivan heads down after it. Ran Lodato gets it back up to Brian Karen. Puck is dumped in. Bauman looking for that long saucer pass. Couldn't complete it. He's in. He's got Doug Haneski. Cam Rice was in the high slot. Couldn't get the good wood on it. Jacob Bryant. Oh! Puck was deflected over the net by one of the Aguam defenders. Haneski with it. To back out to Bauman. That one goes off the netting. We've got a whistle. Faceoff's going to be to the right side of Brandon Pryor. Just 15 ticks remain. A quarter of a minute here to go in the second period of play. It's 3 to 1 in favor of the Greenfield Green Wave. Puck is loose. Nobody wanted it. Jacob Bryant's got it. Kicked out by Pryor.
And that's going to do it for the second period of play. Teams are going to go to their locker rooms for the second intermission. Score is Greenfield 3, Agawam 1. And I think what could be best described as a stalemate in the second period. Going to try and get some words with Coach Adam Bouchard here in the second intermission. I suspect he's going to have some words for the team first. We're going to skate away, and we'll be back with third period action here at the Collins Moylan Arena. Score is Greenfield 3, Agawam 1. We'll be back right here on FCAT Sports. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. We are ready to go for some third period action here at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. 3-1, the green wave are on top in this one, but this is going to be an interesting third period of play. Green wave led after one, 3-0. Agawam got on the board late in the second period and really took the momentum away from the green wave. So let's see what happens here. Puck into the Agawam zone. Brian Bauman after it. Puck comes back out to Kevin Bauman. Jacob Bryant with that long cross ice pass. Andrew Sullivan moves it around for the Brownies. Jacob Bryant sends it deep. Dylan Slitch picks it up. Storms into the Greenfield zone. Brandt quickly shuffles up. Paneski up to Bauman, to Kyle Barnes. He's caught in a one on four while the Green Wave make a line change. Puck comes back up the boards, it's loose. Kyle Barnes has it again. Dumps it back deep. Aiden Roach, he's got a couple goals on the night so far. Roach chips it back up to Mike McGoldrick. Nice save, Brandon Pryor. Dylan Slitch throws it deep for Agawam so they can get some fresh legs out there. Bowie Harris. Puts it up to O'Sullivan. Sean sends it deep. Brian Karen tried to move it out. Puck is loose, Aiden Roach. Gets there first. Can't control, though. Robert D'Angelo gets it up. Little awkward play at the blue line. 
Brian Bauman with a high lob. Vineski on the forecheck. Helped out by Bauman. Bauman's got it now. Karen out to center ice. Evan Danik stopped along the half wall. Bauman gets it. Finds Haneski. Oh, just went high. Haneski battles for the puck behind the net. Back to Bryant. Bryant throws one in just wide on the short side. Haneski back over to Kevin Bauman. Knocked free by David Clark. Jacob Bryant takes another one in the ankle. That's two. O'Sullivan's got it. Swing and a miss on the far side. David Clark faked us all out on that one. Plays whistled for an offside. We've got 10.57 remaining in the third period of play. Here in Greenfield. Aiden Roach breaks free. Shot goes wide. Harris dumps it back in. Once again, Roach. Roach just sent it through the slot. Kyle Barnes had his stick picked up at the last moment. Riley Drew, what a save. Dylan Slitch is going to see that one in his sleep. Riley Drew, what a save from point blank range. Slitch went and told him. What a save, Riley. Oh, my goodness. Bauman on the drop, pulls it back to Bryant. Bryant off the glass. Back up to Bauman, finds Haneski. Haneski tries to split the D. Can't quite get through. He's stripped by Mitch Dronowski. Sends it back this way. <laughs> Dean Katanaga left it right there for Doug Haneski. Jacob Brandt got the shot off from the point, went off the ankle of Mitch Dronowski, hit the netting, and we're going to have a face-off. To Brandon Pryor's right side. 10.04 to go in this one. Green Wave still on top, 3-1. to one. Shots on goal in that second period were 13-9 in favor of the Green Wave. Out shooting Aguam 25 to 15 coming into this third period of play. Dylan Lenoise, Dylan Lenoise, Derek Lenoise. Had Pryor dead to rights. Pryor turned it aside. Brian Bauman, he's got Haneski free on the far side. Gets in deep. Oh, the puck is loose in the crease, and Pryor jumped on it. Much like the Riley Drew save at the other end of the ice. Similarly, I think Brian Bauman will be looking at that in his sleep tonight. That loose puck sat there tantalizingly for a second. Kyle Barnes gets it through. Bowie Harris lets one fly over the net. McGoldrick knocks it back down. Kyle Barnes has it. Had three brownies bunch up on him there. McGoldrick sends it back down. Puck comes back on this side of the ice. 
Knocked free by Bowie Harris. Mitch Dronowski keeps it in the zone. Andrew Sullivan knocks it deep. Kyle Barnes, stiff forecheck there. Puck sat loose. McGoldrick gets a shot into three Agawam Brownies. Brian Bauman back on. Banks it off the Agawam defender. Shot gets in by Sean O'Sullivan. Agawam takes a look. Aiden Roach finds Doug Hineski. Saved by Pryor. Kevin Bauman's shot just goes wide. We're getting very physical down in the Agawam zone here. Doug Hineski comes out with the puck. Finally, Agawam sends it the length of the ice. Takes the icing. Get those fresh legs out there. 7.09 to go in the third period of play. 3-1 in favor of the Greenfield Green Wave. Green Wave with just three regular season games remaining. Playoffs coming up soon. Coach Bouchard mentioning that he wants his guys to treat every one of these games like it's a playoff game. Puck bounces free. Mikey McGoldrick let one fly from 80 feet. Prayer had to get the mitt on that one. Brian Bauman has his shot deflected up over the cage. Seeing a little more jump in the green wave legs in this third period of play. Goldrick dishes over to Hineski. Finds Brian Bauman. Puck just a little bit behind Brian. Derek Lenoy in the mix there. Derek, don't call me Dylan Lenoy's, that is. Just offside. Looked like Sean O'Sullivan was offside by the width of a skate blade there. 5.58 remain in this one. 3-1 in favor of the Green Wave. Let's go, Green! Keep moving the feet! Brian Bauman wins the draw. Oh, excuse me, that was Kyle Barnes. Over to Aiden Roach. Aiden Roach, two goals on the night. Puck is knocked out into the neutral zone. Oh, a big hit on the far side. Kevin Bauman. It's a shot away prior. Knock that puck up in the air. Katanaga takes it. Looked like he was offside. Riley Drew covers it. Five oh one to go in the third period of play. Let's go, Green! Keep moving! 
Face off to the right side of Riley Drew. Bowie Harris gets it up to Derek Lenoise. Puck went the length of the ice. We've got another icing call, 4.51 to go. Doug Haneski in all alone. Oh, what a save! What a save, Brandon Pryor. Doug Haneski took the long pass from Bowie Harris. Cut in deep. Wanted to go five hole. Pryor just dragged the leg. Nice save. John O'Sullivan and Kyle Barnes play catch. Back to Jacob Bryant. Bryant, the long wrist shot, just goes wide. Knocked free by Dylan Slitch. Agawam in deep. Riley had blocked the clearing attempt. But it went right on the stick of... Mitch Ternowski who banged it home. This is a one goal hockey game, folks. 4-12 to go in the third period. Green Wave had been taking the play to Agawam for most of this third period. Just like that, all it takes is a bad break. We got a one goal hockey game. Maneski breaks in, splits the D. Got a penalty coming up on Agawam for a hook. Brian Karen. Gonna sit down for a couple. Got the stick around Hineski as Dougie was trying to get in deep on Brandon Pryor. Brian Bauman gets it back into the Agawam zone, back to Hineski. Hineski finds Bauman. Drop back to Hineski. Doug surveys the situation. Save Pryor. McGoldrick. Zayden Roach. Oh, the puck was just loose. Pryor made the save and it had gone just wide. McGoldrick. Through a maze of legs. Back to McGoldrick again. Again, took the shot through traffic. 55 seconds to go in the Green Wave power play. Jacob Bryant moves in from the high slot, got a shot away. This one's cleared the length of the ice. Still 35 seconds to go in the Agawam penalty. Kevin Bauman in pursuit has it now. Takes a look. Going to leave it for Sean O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan. Battles along the boards. He's got it again. Kyle Barnes saw the loose puck, couldn't do anything with it. 
Once again, Barnes has it. His penalty's over. Back to five on five hockey. Bowie Harris just couldn't get the wood on it there. Down under two minutes to go. Jacob Bryant gets in deep. Gloved aside by Pryor. Harris from the blue line. Play was offside. Brian Karen puts his hands up in the air. He was offside by six feet. Referee carefully explaining. Puck first, then your feet. One thirty-five to go. Here in the third period of play. Agawam coach Rich Feely calls a timeout. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. And the teams have discussed their strategy here for the final minute and a half. Three to two. Green Wave on top. Brand Bauman wins the draw and knocks it into the Agawam zone. Ooh, Brandon Pryor almost caught in between. It looked like he wanted to come right out. And now Agawam's going to pull their goaltender. Clearing attempt hit the ceiling here at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. Faceoff is going to be to the right side of goaltender Riley Drew. Minute 16 to go. Greenfield wins the draw. Sean O'Sullivan on a dead sprint for that one. Puck comes back this way. O'Sullivan knocks it back to the corner. Brian Karen and Andrew Sullivan play catch. Riley saw that one. Holy cow, what a save. Brian Bauman. He's got O'Sullivan who hits the empty netter. 39 seconds to go. Sean O'Sullivan finds the empty net. Greenfield goes on top, four to two. Riley drew with a big money save to make that play happen. Puck goes back in. Pryor makes the save. Down to half a minute to go. Down to 10 seconds, Bowie Harris. Brian Bauman as the clock counts down. Brandon Pryor makes one more save and this one is over. A terrific win for the Greenfield Green Wave. Played a dominant first period. Agawam came storming right back and played a great second period of their own. And we just witnessed an exciting third period of hockey. That was a game could have gone either way. So while the teams shake hands after this one, I'm going to say thank you for watching Green Wave Hockey here on FCAT Sports. And we'll be back in just a moment to wrap this one up.
Final score, Greenfield 4, Agawam 2. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Hi again, welcome back to the Collins Moylan Arena. Skate Dr. Lou Bordeaux here with you. What a great game we just saw. Greenfield wins that one 4-2 over the Agawam Brownies. Uh, it was an independent game, but always a big win when a right division team beats a Barry division team. So when, I want to just recap these goals for you tonight. Uh, scoring started two minutes into the first period of play when Doug Hineski lit the lamp for his 11th goal of the season. Took a nice feed from Will Averill from the point on that one. So right off the bat, two minutes into the game, 1-0 in favor of the Green Wave. Just over a minute later, Aiden Roach scored his eighth goal of the season at 3.15 in the first period, assisted by his line mates, Kyle Barnes and Sean O'Sullivan, giving the Green Wave a 2-0 lead. Roach lit the lamp again at 11.16 of the first period, when he stole the puck, went in unassisted, beat the Agawam goaltender Brandon Pryor for a 3-0 lead, and Greenfield came off the ice after one period leading 3-0. Now in the second period, the momentum changed. Agawam came out and really took the play to the green wave. Despite being outshot 13-9, you could see the momentum change, and Agawam got on the board when Nick Bonagurio scored his fifth goal of the season for the Brownies. He was assisted by Andrew Grasso, a sophomore forward. After two periods, the score was 3-1 to one in favor of the Green Wave, but this one was far from over. After a sequence of plays in the third period, Brandon Pryor had made a save. Puck came out of the zone. Agawam stormed Riley Drew. Puck bounced free. And Mitch Dronowski was able to bang home a rebound, made the game 3-2 in favor of Greenfield, with just 4-12 remaining in the third period of play. It got really tense over the last couple minutes. Agawam took their timeout with about a minute 35 remaining. And while both sides planned their strategy, we saw Sean O'Sullivan find the empty net to seal the victory for the Green Wave. Four to two, O'Sullivan got assists from his line mates, Doug Hineski and Brian Bauman. So it was a big win for the Green Wave. They've got three more games left in the regular season. They're gonna be playing Friday, Friday afternoon at the University of Massachusetts against the Belchertown Orioles. Saturday night, right back here at the Collins Moylan Arena against Southwick. It's going to be senior night. So if you see this video in advance and you come out to see senior night on Saturday, please do. It's going to be a doubleheader. Earlier, the uh, annual patron game, a fundraiser, is going to be held featuring Greenfield High alumni from the past. Always a lot of fun. We always look forward to that one. And then the regular season ends one week from tonight, next Monday night, February 18th, right here at the Collins Moylan Arena when the Ludlow Lions come to town. After that, playoff bound, Green Wave. We don't have the schedule yet, but please stay tuned to FCAT Sports, to your local media, and we hope to see you for some playoff hockey here in Greenfield. Until then, I'm Lou Bordeaux, Franklin County, and Green Wave Skate Doctor saying good night from the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. Final score, 
Greenfield 4, Agawam 2. Good night, everybody.